All right, well, uh, this is a super interesting way to start this video out. So today was going to be the day that I decided to search the coastline for some Cape Buffalo since we had been doing some hunting in multiplayer in one of the previous videos and you guys thought that we should go into our single player map and kind of look around the shorelines to see if there was anything good. Well... That right there is a legendary. I barely even got to do anything. I came down from this outpost. I shot a few Cape Buffalo along here and I was getting ready to set up my tent and then I spotted that guy. And yeah, well, that's big horns and that is a brown Cape Buffalo. That is literally my dream trophy. But now that the brown Cape Buffalo are a little more common than they used to be, it's honestly not even that special anymore, which is kind of sad. But we're going to get close and try to take it out with the 470, provided this guy doesn't ruin everything. This is going to be interesting, and of course we are going to continue looking around. It's insane that we found this is like one of our first cave buffalo to look at in this video, but you know what? I'm all for it. So we 100% have to take this guy out with the 470. I feel like it just wouldn't be right to take it out with anything else, considering we have been wanting one of these for a very long time and I mean what better way to do it than with the 470 and honestly hold on let me look at this guy again this could be small horns maybe you know what it actually is I think I think this actually is small horns now that I look at it for a second time I believe I was wrong about it being big horns I just figured that from that angle it looked more like big horns than it did small horns but I can now see that it's Probably small horns, you know, like I've said in the past in the uh, the words of the great bubbles who is a member of the channel and has been for years if it's one of those ones where you have to question whether it's big or small horns it's probably small horns so I'm just gonna go with it being small horns for now and uh, yeah we'll see once we get it down all right here we go it should give us a broadside shot now I just alerted it it's about 100 out Let's see if we can get this. This should be a pretty easy, makeable shot. Provided it actually uh, stays broadside long enough for us to take the shot. I still can't believe this is one of the first ones that I ended up spotting coming down here. It's honestly just amazing. That should be good right there. I, I hope. Uh-oh. Well. That might be a problem. Oh my gosh, it died. Okay, we're good to go. I was getting a little bit worried there, but it looks like we did get single lung, but because it was only single lung, it died a little bit slower than I was expecting it to, and that scared me so bad. But that is some vital blood right there, so we should be okay. And there it is. It barely ran anywhere, actually. And yeah, that's definitely small horns. There's no way that's big horns. So let's go ahead and pick that up. It's a 154.50 diamond brown cape buffalo. That is beautiful, even though it's not big horns like I was hoping for. It's still really awesome Cape Buffalo. Let's go ahead and taxidermize that and add that to our trophy lodge. This will definitely replace one of the commons or greys we have in the main lodge. Because, uh, let's be honest, this just looks so, so much better. And I am incredibly happy with that. So, let's continue on with the video and keep searching this coastline on our map. It was loaded in multiplayer. So I'm really thinking that it's going to be the same here, and I mean, we're off to a fantastic start, right, with this guy. It was loaded in multiplayer, so I couldn't see any reason why it wouldn't be loaded in my single player map as well. And I mean, we're already off to a fantastic start with this guy right here. I got a feeling we'll find some pretty awesome K Buffalo. Uh-oh. Well then, that's not what I expected to have happen either. <laughs> so I went back and put down my tent. Uh, as you guys can see right here and I was just coming back up to the spot that we left off at and apparently this guy decided that he wanted to come say hello I mean I, I won't complain that's a free little kill right there towards uh, getting some more respawns for the Cape Buffalo so I guess it's a win-win for us uh well I think that's either an eight or a nine that looks to be a pretty big one that is a level eight Cape Buffalo we got a bunch of capes over there man this really is just as loaded in my single player as it was in the multiplayer server we joined in the last Call of the Wild video. And of course we've got more company, which doesn't surprise me. Seems to be the norm. And that will uh, take care of her. Honestly, at this rate, I'm going to have to buy more ammo for the 470. We've been going through so much of it on these Cape Buffalo hunts. It's honestly crazy how much we've gone through. 
Okay, so let's actually take this guy out with the 338 and see how it does. I was having major issues with the 300 Magnum as a lot of you know by now. Unfortunately, it just seems to be very inconsistent on Cape Buffalo this update. It, it's kind of been like that for a little while, but not quite to this extent. So I figured we might as well try out not only the 470, but also try out the 338 and see if we get any better results with this thing. I feel like we will get better results just because the 338 is a little bit more powerful and... That will do it for that cape. Perfect little hard shot. Let's see if we can maybe catch one of these other ones as they run away. Uh, looks like all the males were already gone, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry about trying to get one of those females. Let's just go claim this level eight. There we have it, a pretty nice level 8 Cape Buffalo, 146.20. That's actually on the high end of what they can score as far as I'm aware of. I haven't seen too many level 8s much higher than that, so I'd say that's a pretty good size mythical. And honestly, I think I'm going to drop a tent right here. Uh, this seems like a pretty good place to keep one. Because, uh, I mean, once we get done with this little stretch right here, and we take down uh, that guy right there. We can just fast travel over here and it gives us another location where we can start our hunt if we want to. There's just zones all along this coast, which is crazy. It's uh, gonna be kind of wild just like how fast we can grind them. So let me know if you guys want me to dedicate all my tents towards a Cape Buffalo grind. I think we could honestly make some insanely fast progress doing that. I think it could be quite a bit of fun, so. If you guys would like to see that, let me know because I would totally be down to dedicate all of my tents towards just this coastline and just see how fast we can get Cape Buffalo kills. I think it could be pretty insane. Well, while I'm over here, I might as well claim an outpost that for some reason I've just neglected ever since Verhonga came out. I don't know why I haven't claimed this one, but I mean, now's about as good a time as any, so let's go ahead and grab it. Oh my gosh, that group is huge! Well, I, I don't see anything special in the group besides that mythical, but it's such a large group of buffalo, there's no way that we can see all of them, so we're going to try and get a little bit closer and figure out what's actually in the group. But there seems to be quite a few. Well, there is quite a few Cape Buffalo for sure. It looks like we can see all of them now. And there is one that we weren't able to see at first, there's a nice mythical back there along with this other mythical, so we're going to target those, probably this one first. That one's really far away. But I kind of want to see if the 338 can actually get penetration at this distance. I feel like it should be able to, but you never know. Let's see how that does. Hopefully it'll do enough to actually get it down. And it is losing HP, so that's a good sign. And thankfully, this guy did not spook off either, so we can actually take a shot at the other level 8. And that will be a hard shot. Honestly, it's so satisfying to make hard shots on Cape Buffalo. Just, there's just something about seeing those big males drop to the ground in one shot, not even moving. It, it's very satisfying, to say the least. Well, here is the one that we dropped on the spot with the hard shot, 145 on that guy. And then the other one should not have ran too far. Let's go ahead and have our dog track it down. Should not take a, too long for it to find it. Wow, that actually did not run far at all. That's amazing, actually. The 338 is really doing exactly what we wanted it to. Now, the only question I have is, uh, what is the penetration gonna be like? And it's definitely better than the 300. That is actually really nice to see. So I think from now on, I'm probably just gonna be using the 338 and the 470 for Cape Buffalo. At least until they fix the 300 Magnum. Well now, it looks like uh, she decided that she wanted to come fight a little bit, so yeah, we're just gonna deal with that, I guess. It's always interesting when they choose to uh, chase after us, especially when we weren't even going for them. But I suppose that's two more kills down, though these are both females, so it doesn't really help us at all with the grind. Is there, is there really another, is there, is there really another cave buffalo? And that one is actually a decent one. Pretty good size level 7. Well, <laughs> this area is going to be 
completely void of all zones after I'm done defending myself from these cave buffalo, that's for sure. And here's that little level 7 that I honestly wasn't even intending to keep in the video, but since that one attacked us right as I shot it, I figure we might as well at least show the claiming of it. So, I think before one of these buffalo get mad, let's... never mind, he's going to flee, so we gotta be super quick. I was gonna say let's take out this 8 before they uh, either attack or flee, but this guy's already fleeing, so... There's really not too much we can do about it now, except maybe see if we can push up a little bit and smoke one of these. And this guy is going to be the perfect candidate for that. Okay, it did not die from that shot. I don't know what happened there, but we have a very low bleed rate. Was it maybe spine and it's just dying very slowly? I honestly have no idea. I'm kind of confused about that one. Alright, well I decided to place the tent right around here where we just uh, for some reason messed up that cave buffalo. I don't know how we managed to do it, but we did. But just look at the amount of zones along here. We've got ourselves six there. Another four there, plus I think I might have deleted one, but that's minimum four, so that brings us to ten. And now we have 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. That's 18, 19 K Buffalo zones that we have found just today alone. Absolutely insane, and we still have a lot of the coastline to check. We, we still got to go all the way around here, and then we also got to go down and check our southern coastline, because we did that in multiplayer. So, yeah, we got a lot to do still, and I got a feeling there's going to be Cape Buffalo everywhere along the shoreline, just like we've been finding. Oh my gosh! Oh no, are you kidding me? That's, yes, that is exactly what I was hoping to see. Oh my gosh, that's what I thought the first one was. But obviously, looking at it now, this is way larger than that first one we took out at the beginning of this video. That is a giant herd of Cape Buffalo. And that is a giant diamond cape buffalo. Oh my gosh, that is such a massive herd of them. This just can't get any better. I am blown away at what we've been finding today. And I had a feeling that it would be like this with how it was in multiplayer. There was just so many cape buffalo. And when there's a lot of something, there's a high chance that you'll get a diamond or a rare of that species. And sure enough, we got ourselves a bighorns brown cape buffalo. That is awesome. And since we took the last one with the 470, I think we should try to heart shot this guy with the 338. I'm a little bit worried with how that last shot went, but I think we can make this. The heart shots are a little bit more reliable than the broadside shots from what I've seen, and especially at such a short range, I think we should be able to pull this off. Let's just wait for him to face us perfectly, and obviously it doesn't help if he's going behind another one. Oh my gosh, just the size of those horns is insane. I never get tired of seeing Bighorns Cape Buffalo. I've only seen a few of them my whole time playing Call of the Wild, but it's always been a crazy moment when you do find one. Unfortunately, this guy's acting kind of uh, weird. He's really not giving us a good shot. He's uh, not even facing us the way that I wanted him to. A lot of the times he's just broadside, which normally that would be fine, but I want to make the heart shot on this guy just to make this even more spectacular. But he's just not giving us that heart shot that I really want to get. And part of that is just the fact that he's tucked behind a bunch of other cave buffalo. It makes it a little bit difficult to get that perfect shot. There is such a large group of them. It's honestly just amazing to see. We are currently, I think, like 100 and... 30 meters away from him or so. Or actually, we're about 90, so honestly, if we get any closer, they're gonna start noticing us since we're crouched. We're gonna have to be really careful with this. I don't exactly know how this is gonna go. Got a bad feeling that this guy is gonna either spook off or we're gonna make a bad shot because of the fact that he's being so stubborn. I'm gonna move around a little bit. This is going to alert them pretty quickly. And yeah, they are moving around already. I have to be extremely careful about this shot. Can we make this? Oh my gosh, we made that. Ooh, that was such a risky shot because I really did not have a clear view of the guy that we were after because the one behind him, the kind of outline around it was really just making it hard to see if I was aiming where I wanted to aim, but that somehow worked out. 
I can't believe we finally have accomplished this. We have a Bighorns Brown Cape Buffalo on the ground. Oh my gosh, what a beauty. This is something I have wanted for so, so long. And we finally have done it. 159.90 Diamond Brown Cape Buffalo with the Bighorns. That's just insane. And I think this is my first Bighorns Cape Buffalo that wasn't max score. Actually, I may have got one in the past. If I remember right, I had a max score. And then my next one was like 161. I believe that's how it went at least. And now we've got a 159.90, which is my lowest scoring Bighorns. But it's still a beauty. And with the way the Cape Buffalo works, since they do not have true racks, there's really no visual difference between a 159 and a 162, so it's uh, not that big of a deal that it scores lower than the other big horns ones that I have. I'm just happy to finally have a brown one. And we managed to get two brown diamonds today, which is something that a few months ago I would have thought would have been crazy, but considering they're so common now, it's uh, really not that difficult of a feat. And we have managed to accomplish that today with a perfect heart shot on this guy right here. And then the double lung with the 470 on the other guy. Couple crazy kills. And honestly, I can't think of a better note to end things on. So let's jump into the trophy lodge and replace a couple of our K Buffalo with these two. Because, uh, yeah, these are a lot more impressive than the ones I currently have. Well, here we are in our trophy lodge. And I think it's time to move our max score K Buffalo. As much as I want to keep this guy here, I think the brown one will just look a whole lot better. And actually, never mind. Now that I think of it, let's leave this guy here. We're going to put this guy in the mount with our albino lions. I think that will be a much better use of this beautiful cave buffalo. And then the other brown one we will probably place somewhere else in the lodge. To be honest, I don't know where yet, but uh, we'll find a place for him. All right, well, we have officially created this multi-mount, and it is going to be a stunning addition to this lodge. It was already great having a uh, small horns brown cape buffalo in here, but now that we've got the big horns, this mount is finally complete. I can't think of anything that would make this better unless we were able to find another albino female and a diamond albino cape buffalo. That's really the only thing that would make me change this now. I think this is a stunning looking mount. And it is just absolutely amazing to finally have upgraded it a little bit. You know, honestly, I really don't think there's any place for us to put our second Cape Buffalo. We already have two other Cape Buffalo up in here, and both are Bighorns, so I really don't want to replace a Bighorns one with a Small Horns, even if it is a Brown, considering we just put the Brown Bighorns in that mount. So I think we're going to go ahead and call it there. If you guys are brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any of the future uploads. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below on what you guys enjoyed most about this video. And also, let me know if you guys have been able to bag yourself a Bighorns Brown Cape Buffalo after the update that made them a little more common than they used to be. I'm really curious to see how many of you have managed to get your Brown Diamond Cape Buffalo. Because they're definitely not as hard to find as they used to be. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!